Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. Join me today for day 19 of the UK lockdown where I'm currently out and about as always taking my daily exercise. A little bit earlier in the morning than yesterday. It's currently about quarter to seven as I'm making this video and I wish Hot Potters had to put a jacket on because it's a little bit chilly, it's a little bit nippy. Uh, I'm sure I'll warm up as I make my way around now before i start today's vlog properly yesterday when i was walking around this area one or two of you noticed something in the background as i was walking by and you said that looked rather interesting mr h what was it well i'm now at that little feature and i'll show it you in a little bit more detail and it's this this little uh this little bit of stonework here now it's not a wall as one or two of you thought it's actually the remains of a memorial from World War I. As many of you know, probably by now, because I've mentioned it quite a number of times, this area where I take my daily exercise is former mining land. And what this would have been back in the day, it was built in about 1920, and it was a memorial to the miners from the two collieries that was in this area. It's a memorial that was erected to them because those miners sadly lost their lives during the First World War. Now, I've done a bit of a video on this, if anybody is interested in more details about it, and I'll put a link to that at the end, but yeah, that's what this is. There would have been a plaque back in the day there, unfortunately, it got stolen, so it's now abandoned, it's not a monument, and they don't come to it on Remembrance Sunday, although people still leave wreaths here and that. So like I say, if you'd like to know more about that particular feature, then I'll put a link to the video that I made at the beginning of 2018 when I came here with Mrs H. Anyway, folks, on to today's little vlog. Now, I hope everybody out there is doing well and you're all in good spirits, as always. What I'm trying to do to keep in good spirits is only take in one portion of news each and every day. What I was doing in the beginning when this coronavirus outbreak pandemic hit the UK, I was constantly online looking and searching for more and more news so I could get my head around it, as I'm sure probably everybody else did. Now, I had to do that, I have to get my news online because, as you know, I don't have a television licence so I can't watch news as it's being updated by the minute. And I don't buy newspapers, I don't think anybody else does now either, do they only? the older generation but a side effect of constantly looking for news and seeing what's going on I found it was depressing me and I was reaching a, li a little bit of stage of despair I remember uh, in the early hours of the morning when little Toby James who wasn't sleeping very well he had a good night too by the way last night so a big thank you to everybody out there who's shown the support and given their ideas on getting him to bed down it seems to be the best way to get him to sleep through is to tire him out. Unfortunately, it tires Mr H out as well. But anyway, I was in his bedroom, I was trying to soothe him, and such a wave of despair came over me. It was about one o'clock in the morning, so I just felt really so saddened because I thought, this isn't living what we're doing, it's just existing. But um, anyway, I got over that, and part of it now I just take in one portion of news a day. That sometimes means, Hot Potters, that I'm going to be behind the curve a little bit. And I'll probably mention a story that's either all news, or I won't mention a story that's only just broke after I've watched the news, so, or read the news, should I say. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing to keep my spirits up. Now, one story that I read, and I found it quite comical. At first, I thought it was a gag. I thought it was a late April Fool's gag. It's regarding a particular police force who had gone online, they'd gone on Twitter, and stated that they was going to set up roadblocks, and they was going to have police in supermarket aisles, checking people's shopping, to make sure that they're only buying essential items. Talk about over, or, you know, exceeding your authority type of thing. Anyway, it's been so bad as the government's had to step in and say, no, if um, supermarkets or shops that we've allowed to remain open have items in stock and the public want to buy them 
they can do. So the next comical bit was the chief constable of this particular area, of this particular police force, he had to backtrack and he went on and said uh, the police officer that put up this Twitter post was being over exuberant. And what was the other, the other statement? Oh, in, in retrospect, these comments were a little bit clumsy. You know, talk about power grabs. And then in South Yorkshire, we've had that video of a police officer trying to tell a bloke to go indoors and get out of his own front garden. And, well, we all know where that's gone, basically. A police officer's been made to look a fool. Again, he was... What was his, the statement they made about him? He was... Uh, it was what good intention, but a little ill-informed. You know, what a pillock. And it's these things that'll stick with the public, you know, when all this is over with, really, isn't it? But, yeah, telling someone to get out of the, their own front garden. Uh, I've got to be honest, I live in the, the Greater Manchester Police Force area. And when I was about to make one of these vlogs one morning, I'd come out a little bit later, and a police van pulled up at Sardama. And I thought, here we go. Here we go, what are you doing? So I got myself all puffed up and ready, you know, to uh, to give it to him type of thing. And all he did, Hot Potters, he just gave me the old NATO wave, which is just a, a bit of a, a bit of a nod, and he just drove off and left me fizzing. So I thought, I thought, oh, bloody hell, you know, I geared myself up there. But it's good to see that the majority of police officers are using common sense. Of course, the media are going to jump on the bandwagon, aren't they? Uh, any little story of police officers being over exuberant. So we'll just have to see how it is. I don't know, have any of you been pulled up by police and asked at present where you're going and what you're doing? I haven't, and it's good to see that the majority of people aren't doing. Now, what I'm going to do today as well, Hot Potters, because the, the weather's going to get nice. I mean, bank holidays, traditionally, it rains, doesn't it? And I'm sure that if we was all at work and we was all going about our daily business... It'd be, uh, it'd be a bit damp, wouldn't it, and it'd be raining. No, but um, what I'm going to do, especially the weather picks up, I'm going to crack that drone out that uh, I mentioned in videos ages ago that I got for Christmas. My in-laws got me a, a, a drone, so I'm going to crack that out and I'm going to try a master flying that. Hopefully I won't end up uh, crashing it anywhere. I do apologise for the shadows there on the, the old camera work. Unfortunately, the sun is very low at this time of year, traditionally, anyway. I'll just whip the camera around now, and you can just take a look at how quiet and how nice it is this morning. Brilliant. Other than a few birds and the distant rumble of traffic in the distance... There's not a soul about. I do like coming out at this time in the morning, I really do. Guarantee you get about half an hour to an hour and it'll slowly start filling up with people coming doing their daily exercise, which of course they're entitled to do. Coming jogging, on bikes, dog walking, things like that. I've left little Lucy at home this morning. I'll probably get her out tomorrow morning. I'm trying to keep away from the countryside because I know that because it's the bank holiday, People are going to make their... They would make their anyway, even if, uh, you know, even if this lockdown period wasn't on. But it does look like it's going to be extended, Hot Potters. I think Ireland have extended those now for a further three weeks. So we're going to go that way sooner or later, aren't we? You know, I think it will be extended. But it's very quick how you adapt. I've adapted very quickly to this lifestyle, and I'm sure that when... We do have to go back to work. We'll be mourning about it, won't we? You know, it'll be, ooh, I'll have to go back to work. I enjoyed being off. Anyway, not to worry. Right then, folks, as always, we're coming up to the magic 10-minute mark, so I'm going to cut it here. So, folks, until the next time, when it'll be day 20, day 20 of the UK lockdown. I hope you all stay safe, and as always, bye-bye for now.